Right, so DCEU is wrapping up 2023 with Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom, but no stress, because there's a bunch of shows and movies lined up in James Gunn's DC Universe and beyond. Now let's jump into what's on the horizon for 2024 and 2025. No more waiting around. Joker. Folia Dieu. Joaquin Phoenix reprises his role as Arthur Fleck, also known as the Joker, in the upcoming film Folie à Deux. This time he is joined by Lady Gaga, who takes on the character of Harley Quinn. The film's title refers to a clinical term for a mental disorder shared by two people, reflecting the dynamic between Harley and the Joker. Folie à Deux is described as a musical set in Arkham Asylum, drawing comparisons to A Star is Born rather than In the Heights, according to Variety. The music is expected to be seamlessly integrated into the movie. Brendan Gleeson is set to star in an undisclosed role, and Catherine Keener is also part of the cast, alongside Zazie Beetz reprising her character Sophie from the first film. Set videos hint at the presence of multiple Jokers, though given Arthur's creative imagination, there may be more to this than initially apparent. Additional set photos have surfaced, showcasing scenes of Arkham in flames, Lady Gaga in costume as Harley Quinn, and a moment of Harley and the Joker dancing on the iconic stairs. A video clip even captures Lady Gaga singing. Director Todd Phillips has provided a sneak peek at the film, offering a new perspective with Arthur looking up into a downpour. While these glimpses provide tantalizing insights, much about the sequel remains shrouded in mystery. It's noteworthy that the film will be released under the DC Elseworlds title, Superman Legacy. Superman Legacy marks the inaugural film in the new slate and is scheduled for a worldwide release on July 11, 2025. James Gunn takes on both the writing and directing roles for this movie, which delves into Superman's struggle to balance his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing. Producer Peter Safran emphasized the significance of this film in shaping the DC universe, stating, this is really the start of the DCU. It's not an origin story. It focuses on Superman's balancing his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing. He's the embodiment of truth, justice, and the American way. He's kindness in a world that thinks of kindness as old-fashioned. Exciting casting news for Superman Legacy reveals that David Corensweet is set to portray Clark Kent, and Rachel Brosnahan will take on the role of Lois Lane. Joining them are three other talented actors in superhero roles. Nathan Fillion is cast as Green Lantern Guy Gardner, Eddie Gathigi will portray Mr. Terrific, and Isabella Merced is set to play Hawkgirl, The Batman 2. The details surrounding the follow-up to Matt Reeves's The Batman remain shrouded in mystery, but it has been confirmed that a sequel is in development, along with two spin-off TV shows. One of these shows will center around the character Penguin, while the other will explore the intricacies of Arkham Asylum. Matt Reeves is set to return as the writer and director for the sequel, and Robert Pattinson is slated to reprise his role as the cape Crusader. As of now, no additional cast members have been officially announced. Furthermore, The Hollywood Reporter has disclosed that Reeves is in discussions with writers and directors to expand the Batman universe with villain-focused movies. Notable villains such as Professor Pig, Clayface, and Scarecrow have been mentioned in this context, hinting at a broader exploration of the rogues gallery in the Batman mythos. Amidst the significant changes at DC, reassurance is provided that this particular film remains unaffected. Contrary to speculations, both James Gunn and Matt Reeves have refused claims suggesting that Robert Pattinson's Batman would be integrated into the primary series of DC films. Instead, these movies will maintain their autonomy within a distinct universe, now dubbed DC Elseworlds, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. As part of James Gunn and Peter Safran's latest DC lineup, a fresh perspective on Supergirl is in the works. Drawing inspiration from Tom King's comic book series of the same name, this science fiction adventure promises to present a Supergirl that diverges from the familiar portrayal. James Gunn shared insights into the unique approach, stating, We see the difference between Superman, who was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents from the time he's an infant, versus Supergirl, who was raised on a rock chip off of Krypton and watched everyone around her die and be killed in terrible ways for the first 14 years of her life, the brave and the bold. The upcoming movie will focus on Batman and his son Damian Wayne, who takes on the role of Robin. This marks the first time we'll see this dynamic duo since Joel Schumacher's 1997 cult classic, where George Clooney and Chris O'Donnell portrayed the iconic characters. Andy Muschietti is set to direct the film. Director Gunn described the movie as a unique father and son narrative, drawing inspiration from Grant Morrison's Batman run. Despite the casting details being kept under wraps, it's important to note that this Batman won't be portrayed by Robert Pattinson, and the film won't be connected to Matt Reeves' Batman project, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is set to become a bona fide horror film within the DC Universe, delving into the ominous roots of the enigmatic Swamp Thing character. 
The movie draws inspiration from Alan Moore's 1984 storyline, The Saga of the Swamp Thing, as depicted in DC Comics. James Mangold, who had previously shown interest in collaborating with Gunn and Safran in the DC Universe, swiftly joined the project as both the writer and director. Despite its darker tone, Swamp Thing will maintain its connection to the broader DC Universe, highlighting Gunn and Safran's willingness to explore different genres in shaping their new franchise, The Authority. James Gunn revealed The Authority on January 31, 2000. 2023 as a part of DCU's Chapter 1, titled Gods and Monsters. Although a specific release date hasn't been announced, the film promises to bring a distinctive superhero team to the DC Universe. The Authority is known for employing unconventional and extreme methods to accomplish their missions, drawing inspiration from the approach seen in Amazon Prime Video's The Boys. While the project has not yet secured a writer or director, Gunn assured fans that the team would be linked to the DCU's new Superman, who is slated to make his debut in 2025. Superman Legacy, Ta-Nehisi Coates Superman. In the previous year, there were widespread reports of J.J. Abrams and Black Panther screenwriter Ta-Nehisi Coates collaborating on a Black Superman movie. Towards the end of 2022, Warner Brothers Discovery reassured fans that the project was still in the works, but there have been no updates since then. Notably, James Gunn didn't explicitly reference the project in his DCU Chapter 1 announcement, adding an air of uncertainty to its status. Regardless, one clear aspect is that Henry Cavill will not be taking on the role of the titular hero, Watchmen. Warner Brothers is revisiting Alan Moore's iconic comic book event with a new animated Watchmen movie set to release in 2024. This adaptation will cover the original 12 issues published from September 1986 to October 1987. It follows in the footsteps of Zack Snyder's 2009 cinematic take on Watchmen and HBO's brief 2019 television adaptation. The upcoming Watchmen movie is slated for a direct-to-streaming release in 2024, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths. Announced alongside Watchmen, the next release in the Warner Bros. DC animated universe lineup is the inaugural feature-length adaptation of Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths. Interestingly, this project was initially part of Walter Hamada's rumored plans for the DC Extended Universe DCEU, before its reset. The upcoming animated movie draws inspiration from the pivotal 1985 DC comic book crossover, widely regarded as one of the most significant events in comic book history. Similar to The Flash, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths is another exploration of the multiverse concept. This film follows the 2023 release of Justice League War World. Fans can anticipate the return of the same voice cast, including Jensen Ackles as Batman, Stana Katic as Wonder Woman, and Darren Criss as Superman. Constantine II more than a decade after Keanu Reeves took on the role of Constantine in the 2005 horror film, a sequel is still in development, persevering through DC's broader content restructuring. Keanu Reeves is confirmed to return as The Exorcist in this upcoming installment. IGN reports that Francis Lawrence is set to direct, with Akiva Goldsman producing the film. Despite the passage of time and changes in DC's content strategy, it seems the sequel is forging ahead with its plans. Upcoming DC TV shows The Penguin Colin Farrell stars in The Penguin, a spin-off series derived from The Batman, featuring a total of eight episodes. Scheduled to premiere on HBO Max in 2024, the first trailer showcases Colin Farrell's Oswald Cobblepot, fully embracing his Scarface persona. Director Matt Reeves has hinted at the show's significance in setting the stage for The Batman 2. He mentioned to Collider, There's actually a whole little fabric of things we're wanting to do, the way we're doing with Penguin and how that comes back into how that will lead into the sequel, and what that sequel is going to be. This suggests that The Penguin is not just a standalone series, but an integral part of the broader narrative, making it a must-watch for fans eager to delve into the intricacies of the Batman universe. Creature Commandos James Gunn, renowned for his work on Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy films, is set to bring his love for eccentric teams to the world of animation with the adaptation of J.M. Demetais' quirky comic series Creature Commandos. As one of the confirmed animated projects in the new DC Universe, this seven-episode series promises an intriguing narrative. It follows Amanda Waller as she assembles a black ops team comprised of monstrous prisoners, including Frankenstein's monster, a vampire, a werewolf, a Gorgon, and a human team leader. Creature Commandos is notably the first project of the new DCU, preceding Superman Legacy. Despite challenges such as strikes, James Gunn has affirmed that the series is still on track for its 2024 release 
Peace, marking an exciting addition to the DC animated lineup, Peacemaker Season. Centered on John Cena's character from the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker revolves around Christopher Smith, an anti-hero whose worldview is quite unconventional. I cherish peace with all of my heart. I don't care how many men, women and children I kill to get it. The success of Season 1 has solidified a renewal, regardless of DC's future cinematic plans, making it clear that the series has garnered significant popularity among audiences. Waller, Peacemaker. Season 2 has officially been temporarily halted, as some of its characters are slated to feature in Waller, a new DC series. According to James Gunn, Waller will serve as a direct continuation of Peacemaker, picking up from the ending where Leota Adebayo, played by Danielle Brooks, exposed Amanda Waller's involvement in Task Force X. Variety reports that Jeremy Carver, the creator of Doom Patrol, will produce the series, with Viola Davis reprising her role as the titular character, Amanda Waller. Gunn has expressed enthusiasm for the show, calling it the greatest ever. As of now, there is no official release date announced for Waller. Booster Gold Booster Gold, a hero perhaps less familiar to some, though he has made appearances in Smallville and Legends of Tomorrow, is set to take the spotlight in a new show. According to the announcement, the series will track Booster, also known as Michael John Carter in the comics, as he employs rudimentary future technology to feign being a superhero in the present day. Given the premise, it's anticipated that this show will lean heavily into comedy. In DC's Slate announcement, James Gunn characterized Booster Gold as the living embodiment of imposter syndrome, suggesting that the series may explore themes of self-doubt and identity in a humorous manner. Dead Boy Detectives Following their appearance in Season 3 of Doom Patrol, the Dead Boy Detectives are set to take the spotlight in their own standalone show on HBO Max, as reported by Variety. These characters, created by Neil Gaiman, are two ghost boys who opt to remain on Earth and tackle supernatural mysteries instead of transitioning to the afterlife. Despite certain cancellations in DC's roster of shows and movies, Dead Boy Detective seems to be proceeding smoothly, with a cast in place and expectations for a premiere on HBO Max without any setbacks. Kite Man Hell Yeah, the animated superhero spin-off, often described as an animated version of Cheers and centered around Harley Quinn character Kite Man, is still in development as of 2023, according to reports from Variety. The show will revolve around a bar named Noonan's. Although there's no information on the exact premiere date, Justin Halpern, the showrunner for Harley Quinn, provided some insights into the concept. Dean LeRae, who collaborated on the first three seasons of Harley Quinn, is heading the project, partnering with comedy writer Katie Rich. The Kite Man series is expected to capture similar vibes to the Harley Quinn Valentine's Day special, embracing a daring and adventurous narrative. Max has released a trailer for the series, featuring a stellar cast including Matt Oberg as the voice of Kite Man, along with Stephanie Hsu, Janelle James, Michael Imperioli and more, even though the release date is yet to be confirmed. Paradise Lost James Gunn has unveiled details about Paradise Lost, describing it as a series with a Game of Thrones-esque tone, focusing on the Amazons and the home of Wonder Woman, Themyscira. While the plot remains largely undisclosed, Gunn has promised a narrative rich in darkness and drama, and characterized by political intrigue within a society composed entirely of women. The filmmaker has expressed curiosity about the origins of this female society, delving into questions such as how it came to be, the underlying meaning, and the intricate political dynamics at play. The series is expected to explore the rules, power structures, and strategic games employed by the Amazons as they navigate their unique societal landscape. Sweet Tooth, the Netflix adaptation of Vertigo Comics DC. Black Label's Sweet Tooth is set to make a return for its second season in April. This continuation will follow the well-received post-apocalyptic narrative crafted by Jeff Lemire. The story unfolds in a world devastated by a contagion, giving rise to animal-human hybrids across North America. The series focuses on Gus, a young deer-human hybrid, and his rugged companion Jeopard as they navigate the remnants of the old world, steering clear of roaming scavengers and formidable paramilitary groups that have emerged in the aftermath. As of now, Netflix has not officially announced plans for Sweet Tooth beyond its second season. Notably, there was a two-year gap between the first two seasons, suggesting a potential third season premiere in 2025 if another season is commissioned. Lanterns DC Studios has unveiled a new Green Lantern project, forming part of its lineup of upcoming movies and shows. According to Variety, the co-CEOs of DC Studios have described the Green Lantern TV series, now more broadly titled Lanterns, as an HBO-quality event in the vein of True Detective. This series will prominently feature Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart, playing a significant role in setting the stage for the overarching narrative spanning across film and television. While Nathan Fillion is confirmed to portray Guy Gardner in the DC Universe, it remains unconfirmed whether he will appear in the Lantern series. Earlier reports had suggested a Green Lantern HBO Max series focusing on multiple Lanterns, with Jon Stewart as the primary focus. Arkham Asylum 
Adding to Matt Reeves's Batman verse, this upcoming show initially focused on corruption within the GCPD, but has since evolved into a project centered around Arkham Asylum. While specific plot details are currently under wraps, the shift in focus has sparked curiosity about what Reeves has in store for this new venture, untitled Gotham City Police Department spin-off. Jim Gordon and the Gotham City Police Department took center stage in The Batman, and plans were set for a television spin-off focused on Gotham's police force to stream on HBO Max. Originally announced in 2020 with a series order, the police procedural faced some challenges with creative setbacks, including the departure of multiple showrunners mid-development. Despite these changes, the series has been mentioned as still being in development as recently as October 2022, with Matt Reeves serving as an executive producer. However, no additional details regarding the show's progress, production start date, or release window have emerged since the announcement by James Gunn and Peter Safran in January 2023. Batman Caped Crusader. Bruce Timm, the prolific animator and producer, known for creating the groundbreaking Batman, the animated series over 30 years ago, has teamed up with J.J. Abrams and Matt Reeves for the new animated series, Batman, Caped Crusader. Originally ordered by HBO Max, the series faced cancellation by Warner Bros. in August 2022 as part of a cost-cutting move. However, it later found a new home on Prime Video and received a two-season order. Despite this, a specific premiere window for the series has not been announced. Batman Caped Crusader is envisioned as the spiritual successor to Batman the Animated Series, and Bruce Timm collaborates with award-winning comic book creator Ed Brubaker, who oversees the writer's room and serves as an executive producer. The series promises a fresh take on the iconic superhero and his adventure. The Sandman, Neil Gaiman, Sam Kyth, and Mike Dringenberg's The Sandman stands as one of the most universally acclaimed comic book series, and its inaugural season on Netflix in 2022 ranked among the streaming service's most popular series. Co-written and executive produced by Gaiman himself, The Sandman remains largely faithful to its source material. The narrative follows Morpheus, the Lord of Dreams, as he endeavors to rebuild his position after a prolonged imprisonment on Earth. Accompanied by the other eternal personifications known as the Endless, Morpheus confronts fantastical threats to his realm, including encounters with Lucifer. In a significant development, Netflix officially renewed The Sandman for a second season on November 22, 2022. Production resumed in late November 2023, indicating the continuation of the series that has captivated audiences with its rich storytelling and unique exploration of the human condition. Suicide Squad Isekai The latest trailer for Suicide Squad Isekai, a new DC anime series, has been revealed, offering a fresh take on familiar characters like Harley Quinn and the Joker. This collaboration between Warner Brothers Japan and Wit Studio brings DC's characters into the isekai realm, with the logline describing it as an epic and violent fantasy where various worlds collide. The series boasts a stellar lineup of anime creators. We Got Trailer, which provides a glimpse into the action-packed adventures of Harley Quinn and others in the Suicide Squad Isekai series. Akira Amano, responsible for character design drafts, expressed enthusiasm about the project and praised director Eri Osada's clear vision for Harley's design. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. See you at the next one.